Good morning, guys. A big boo-boo happened to Taika's foot this morning. While I came home, Taika was standing right here and the door was locked and it was kind of like stuck a little bit. So while he was on this side pulling, I was on the other side about to push. And I was like, move out of the way, move out of the way. And of course he doesn't listen. So he's banging on the glass door and then I push a little bit too hard. So this metal part down here, which is needs to get fixed, it's kind of jagged. It popped out and then it scraped his foot and it was, he was bleeding. And look, look at his little toe. Owie. Oh, look, I can't it hurt so Grandma, much. Grandma, look. You're coloring the teeth? Yes. Because I have cavities. <laughs> you have cavities? How's your foot foot, mister? Does it hurt? Yes. It does? And it will make red and green just turn black. I know, but how does your foot? Does it still hurt a lot? Yes. It does? Can you go with Papa to Home Depot? I can walk. You can walk? Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Good job. You want to go with Papa to go shopping? Wait, did you say yes or no? No. I said I'm fine. You're fine. What does that mean? So do you want to go with Papa to Home Depot? Papa has to buy some stuff to cut the gym mats. After you tore his foot off, I would never trust you. Are you kidding me? After you sent my boy and almost amputated his toe, I would never trust you. Taika, you want to come with me to Home Depot? No, oh, thank you. Papa, it's fine. Come no. on, you want to go? I know you can walk. Can you walk? Let me see. Oh, you can walk. Okay, we're going. You're walking. I want to. Now we're going. No. We've got to give the ladies a break. You wear them out. I don't want to. I don't care. Look who I got to come with me to go shopping. What, monkey? Go where? I heard my toe right on the door. Yeah, you heard on the door. Are you okay now? Yes. yes. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna love it. So I got a big task in front of me today. I gotta cut these mat mats, not masks, these mats, um, and clean them and make sure they look perfect for the gym before the equipment comes. The equipment isn't coming today, but I wanna make sure I bang all of this out so it's nice and perfect so I don't feel like I'm in a rush over the next couple of days. The problem is, um, when we cut the mats for a barbell, we had a whole team going on. And these things are super thick. So, I don't know if I'm gonna do a good job. We also had Aaron. Aaron is like a genius MacGyver, so he knows how to do everything the right way. Me, you have a freaking tool. And uh, hopefully it looks good, because so far the gym looks insane. The wall looks good, the mirrors look professional, the equipment's gonna look professional. If I do a bad job, the floors are gonna look amateur and I don't want it to look like that. Take a let me see your hot face. It's hot, huh? Hot outside and hot inside. It's and hot everywhere. Hot is not inside. Hot is the, the house is warm. No, the house is cool. We got the AC going. But in the car and outside it's hot, huh? <laughs> Good thing we both got matching tank tops on. Time to blast the AC. Here we go. Ah. You feel the AC, monkey? And the Las Vegas. Yeah, it's hot in Las Vegas, huh? Yeah. All right, so the most important thing I have to get at Home Depot in order to cut the mats is an electric saw. And I feel like since I'm only gonna use this once, I do want to buy the cheapest one possible. Although, I, it would be nice to have around the house. I just don't see myself like cutting drywall and wood and stuff like that that much. But it is very helpful. So, I looked around. So far, it's the cheapest one. It, it is a corded one, but it's 70 bucks. Everything else is 100 or more. These are all corded. All the cordless ones are over there. But then those ones, you have to buy separate chargers and stuff. So, there's one left. Just in luck. Da -da 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 for 70 bucks. Taiko, we got one left. We got lucky. And is that for me? Yeah. Is that for me? No. Is that for me? No, it's for Papa. Oh. We have to use it to cut stuff. And also, I need to get a metal ruler. So, this thing's cool. It has a leveler too. And it's metal. So that way, I can cut straight lines without cutting the ruler itself. But it's a plastic ruler or even like a wood to um, block it off. 
I might cut into the wood. So this is super helpful. Got to get a couple of other things. What, mister? Stop. Stop what? Stop talking. Stop talking? Are you kidding me? I don't even know what you're saying. Taka, do you see the broom down there? There's a broom down there, you see it? No, that's a Swiffer. That's a duster. Yeah. We need a broom. Do you see a broom? Yeah. <gasps> there it is. Papa needs a bigger one though. Like a big push broom. Do you see any big push brooms? <gasps> there it is. Big push broom. All right, that's exactly what I need. So I need something where the bristles aren't too stiff because if it's too stiff, it does a bad job of dusting. Have you ever seen the kind where you like, like the ones that you clean concrete with? Like it just flicks instead of sweeps all the fine stuff. So I'm gonna do a little touch. This one's all right. Oh, this one's too stiff. Yeah, see this kind? This kind doesn't do a good job of sweeping. You need one that's kind of like soft. This kind of soft, the bulldozer. All right, I like the name of it. And we'll always know where it is. The bull, this is also called a bulldozer. Smooth surface, multiple surface. Probably get this one. What, what's that? You found a broom? Where? We need this one, the big one. But, the, but we have a, there's a big one, the orange one. Oh yeah, that's a big one too. But well, we got this one, it's a push broom. I think we need only a few more things. All right, also need some workers gloves for safety. Here, mister, you wanna put in a basket? Oh, your mask fell off. You wanna put it on? No, thank you. You have to put it on. Here, put, no. it, put it on the side. I know you're cute, but you have to put it on. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for being a good boy. You're a good boy. Here we go. Tyco's so excited about his Happy Meal. I got a burger. You got a burger too? Toy. <gasps> yeah, toy too. Hey, don't put the burger on the table. Mama, why does your toy, Mama? That's your toy. This guy just ran off. Hey, Mama, you gotta eat your burger. Here, put the french fries on here too. Uh oh, it fell on, on the table. That means Papa has to eat some. Even though he's on a diet, but that's the rules. It's a slot. Heiko, look, you got your slushy too. Papa got your yellow slushy. Ooh. Your pink lemonade slushy. Come on. Come here, eat your lunch, monkey. It's over here. This guy's such a troll. Yeah, eat your yummy, yummy food. Ooh, oh. Papa's very happy that you came with Papa to Home Depot after Papa got you McDonald's because you're a good boy. Who's a good boy? Do you hear that? Who's a good boy? Go like this. Go me. Go me. Who's a good boy? No, you're a good boy. Who's a good boy? I'm a bad boy. No, you're a good boy. You're not a bad boy. Yes, I am. Awesome. If you're a bad boy, you wouldn't have gone to Home Depot with Papa. You're a good boy. Say, I'm a good boy. Say, I'm a good boy, monkey. Or say, I'm a bad boy. Uh oh, it's leaving. Careful, don't spill it, don't spill it. Are you a good boy or a bad boy? Okay. Alright, so. I didn't go to Papa, I didn't go with Papa to um, Home Depot. But damn, it looks like you know what you're doing. To tell you the you truth. even have you even have the legit pencil. I would I grew up with all of this shit because yeah. my dad. To tell you the truth. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I'm like, I'll do anything to save three grand. So guess what? How much did you spend? Imagine you're like three grand. 2900 so uh, yeah that, that machine cost 2000 that cost like about 900 2900 I'll save 100 bucks nice. I'm, I'm just kidding that thing was 60 bucks so I just did the most important part which the mats pretty much just lay out perfectly except I have to cut where this line is that should be pretty easy the part that required a little bit of geometry and thank you uh, Mr. Watson for teaching me that is I had to make sure that the mat that's here, I want it to look very presentable. So it has to fit this perfectly. And you'll see, you come over here. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, fine. So I put a little line right here because you can see this is not straight. So I don't want to cut it all messed up. So a little fluid? Yeah, so I want it to go from here straight to here and also don't want to affect the garage door 
opening and closing. Like I want it to seal shut because the way the garage door is made, it's made to hit the concrete, Papa? hit the dance floor, hit the hit the dance floor. What? I'm actually impressed. Really? Why? It's clean work. Hey, I'm not a OCD for no reason. You know what I mean? Thank so, God. Yes, yeah, so I drew. You a don't clean... live like an OCD man, though. I've been trying to battle my OCD. I've been trying to overcome it. Because if I really wanted to live the way, knees. Look at those knees. if I want to live the way I live, I think I would give myself too much anxiety. Um, but so anyway. you just instead of you living with anxiety, you give it to me. I no. Then I just try to battle my own, or else I'd be taking like literally like nine showers a day. But anyway, so I drew this line here. I mean, have so you I, smelled your head? <laughs> so I drew this line here to know what, how to clear this, and then I, I measured here, measured here, and I also gave it a little bit of tolerance. Tolerance meaning like these aren't what I do shapes. in our marriage. Exactly. Being with you. Exactly. Like <laughs> if they say a dollar, sometimes it might be seventy-five cents. Sometimes it might be a dollar twenty-five. And so I give a little bit of tolerance because these are not perfect edges. So I did mark them right here, as you saw, with the carpenter pencil. So I'm about to make my first incision, and I hope it goes good. Fuck it. So we well see. Wait, I think we're supposed to wash these. Not yet. So the good thing about OCD is I pre-plan a lot. I'm a very calculated person. So I was initially gonna wash it, but then I was like, if I wash and scrub these, I cut these, I will have sawdust, I'm gonna have to do it again. What sawdust? This. The dust that comes from sawing. So I'm like, so instead of doing it twice. I thought sawdust was wood. I think it's anything, any dust that comes from sawing. Okay. So that's wood sawdust, this is rubber sawdust. So I'm gonna have sawdust. I gotta look that up. Anyways, so I'm like, I might as well do all my cuts, do one clean scrub and clean with the hose, put them in. And I even thought about this much. So these mats are six feet wide, right? From here to here, it's just about 10 feet. That means I need a six foot mat and a four foot mat. Okay, that's too many numbers. Which one am I putting on the inside? I was not listening exactly. at all. Exactly. Look, look at the way I'm fucking holding the camera. Like, I'm just. Over my oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> what oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh. oh. Oh, Alright, so what were you saying? Well, I was asking a smart question. The nine foot. Was that an option? <laughs> no, that's not even one of the options. Oh. I said it's about it's nine huge. to ten feet. So is it six foot or foot foot? Which one do I put in the Foot foot? What the fuck is foot foot? <laughs> Four foot or six foot? Goddamn. You said foot foot. This is my little sign table. What happened to your work team? What I, This is the most work you've done near kind of your work table. And you're not even using your work table. Well, cause this thing's duh. Because this thing's duh? <laughs> duh. Damn, okay, we gotta record this shit. Cutie, cutie little new ass gloves. Doesn't want to mess up his cutie little hands. The big kidney. I gotta turn on the lights because I can't see the marks. Why don't you use chalk? I find no chalk. Your son has a bunch of chalk. I think I scolded his ass just by saying chalk. Burr, 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 burr. They didn't have chalk there. Here it goes. God, please don't hurt yourself. So, what I think I need to do, the decision was good. It was pretty good. What I need to do is probably create a sawhorse. You know what I'm talking Or like two things right back. All right, so this is a little makeshift. What is it, sawhorse? Oh, you gotta go in deeper. You've heard that before. Can't go that deep. Not, not too deep. Oh, no, that's Ken. You're cooking, okay? Watch your foot. Watch your foot. So it's not 
not even following the ruler. Well, you're crooked. But I could see it. But whatever. Because you're like instead of it being straight, it's like yeah. it's like that. But you also what I you know what I think? What? I think I might not even need the ruler. I kind of want to try it. Because I think I've been going straight without even the ruler. So I think it's actually how much I give it to it. Motion in the ocean, so it's so not the Let's try it. Try to give it to it good. And you can try right after. And there you have it, folks. A perfectly straight incision. It actually doesn't look that bad on camera, but it is wobbly as hell. But now I learned, and I'm glad the most difficult incision was the first one, because I have to cut all of those mats. And now that I know, since it's sawing, I don't need to saw. I just gotta hold it in a straight line and let the saw do the work for me. The other ones will be way straighter, hopefully. And good thing that that edge over here, since none of this is actually straight because it's all like laid concrete, what I'll probably do is put the cut edge against that wall. And then that way, the nice clean edge will face the outside. So it'll look good. So pretty much hiding like all the ugliness on the, on the inside. So now that I've made this incision, I'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit and then line it up here and see if it looks good. All right, now for the most important part, double front biceps. Whoa, whoa. Oh no, whoa. Hey, hurry, double. Double check, double check. Double check the double front biceps. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so now for the moment of truth, Let's see if it fits perfectly where I needed it to be. Wow, so much finesse, so much grace. This is construction, sweetheart. Damn, look at that. Is it perfect or what? I hate that you got it. I hate that you got, aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. No, I gave it some tolerance. Uh -huh. Look at that. Uh -huh. Boom, some to see? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Fits perfectly right there. Uh -huh. Right there. Bam. Look at that. That's a lot. That's too much. Hey. Can Let you cut a little bit more, like, like half an inch? On this side, are you yeah. serious? Yeah, please. For reals? No. Okay. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Look at me, look at this. I'm trash. Whoa, yeah. look at the, whoa. Oh, bam, look whoa, at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 what the? <laughs> so annoying. All right, bam, first part of the gym. Good job, baby. Thank you. Proud I of me. really do feel like you should wash them first. But are you proud of me? Because you always say I don't do mad shit. Yep. But guess what? Yo, shit, whoa. Of course I'm proud of you, this is tight. Good job. Thank you. All right, so this is a super old invention, but Papa is so fascinating. It's next level to me. So right now I'm taking a break from, I just washed all the mats with some soap. I scrubbed sure you it. did. I saw you laying down on the couch the whole time. <laughs> but I scrubbed it all. I'm waiting for it to dry. I am determined to get those mats in the garage by tonight. And so even though I feel like I do want to wait till tomorrow, I'm like, no. Yeah, you're just excited. No. And, and, and for once, the Vegas heat is working in our favor. It's really hot, it's really dry, and I was watching how quickly things dro uh, drew, dry? Dried. Dried. Um, I'm like, hell yeah. 
So what now. What was saying? How fast they drive? I don't know. Ready? Yep. Con ganas, way. Oh, is it too big? Well, you know how big Korean things are, or Asian things. Korean things are right. True. Go. I am Korean. We got big things. You know what I'm talking about. Go, go, go! Force that bitch. It's actually supposed to be for an apple only, but yes, baby. Oh, what happened? Oh, I think it's juice in the bottom. Oh man, there's blood. Why is there blood? Oh, it's too big. Okay, there, there, there. It's stop, too stop, big. Stop. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. All right, so we ran into a little issue, a little hiccup. Papa accounted for the edges here, but he didn't account for the top portion. Oh uh, yeah, cut the other one too. Oof. So we're almost there. So close. I guess are you cutting it tomorrow? We are cutting it tomorrow. Cause uh, yeah, if we don't. Does it take too long to do it tonight? Get it over with? Fuck you, you already put everything away. I get yeah, it. Yeah, I did, that's everything. I put all the extension cords and everything. But yeah, if I, if I don't cut it, it comes out to here, which is too far. I mean, but that looks great. Yeah, so far it looks really, really good. Good job. Except for that part. I mean, it's not a big deal. You did great. Thank you. You're welcome. Our day has winded down, down to the point where Monkey Mom is falling asleep at the couch. Monkey Mom, let's go to the car. Yeah. So, no, we'll so, we're gonna get ready for bed, go to sleep, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, Monkey, tell everyone good night. Good night, Monkey Mom. He's, he's dead. Good night. Good night, baby, baby.